Hello and welcome. This is a short uh, tutorial on rigging. Um, so I'm going to delete everything here. So in this tutorial, we're going to look at um, just making a very simple leg rig. So I'm going to start with uh, making a bone. So uh, this is my armature here. I'm going to call this leg. Now uh, I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. And I'm going to lift it up um, by two on the z-axis. I'm going to go to edit mode. Move it slightly forward on oops on X. And now I'm going to press E to extrude down to what in my mind's eye will be the ankle. I'm going to extrude forward for the foot and for the toe. Now these are slightly longer than they should be. So I'm, I'm exaggerating these a little just for so you can see what I'm doing, and same with this one. So this is going to be my IK bone. So if this is sort of my hip and my shin, foot, toe, heel, and this is like a controller bone. So the first thing we need to do is um, we want to make a chain. So I'm just going to go into pose mode here. And at the moment, we've got what's called forward kinematics. So you move it bone by bone. There's no chain. Now I can go up here and I can turn on auto IK. And when I hit G, I can move things but I want to do that in a little more kind of a controlled fashion so I want this bone here to follow this control bone and since these three bones here the heel the foot and the toe are children of this bone they will also follow it so let's uh, go back to edit mode here and this bone here at the moment if I tell this bone to follow this one we'll get an error because this bone is a child of this bone just by virtue of how we made it so it's sort of like a loop so that won't work so over here, I click on bones, and I'll go on relations. So this is the bone, or this is the, the child of this bone here. We'll rename them now. So I'm just going to delete that parent. And that's a, a good juncture here to rename things. So we'll call this hip. Uh, and normally when we were, well, let's just go uh, dot L. So normally when you're uh, naming bones, you would uh, indicate whether they were left or right, and that way you can use the mirroring function um, uh, in Blender later on if you're doing a walk cycle. So toe.l and heel. And then we'll call this uh, leg ik.l. So there's my bones sort of labeled there. So you can see them all and all their names. Uh, you can see that the armature is still called uh, armature, so we'll call that leg. Okay, now when we go back to our pose mode, we still, even though we've disconnected this, if I hit G, this is not connected. When I press OR here, you can see that this bone here is not part of the chain anymore. So I'm gonna put a modifier or a constraint on this bone. Uh, this can only be done in pose mode. So I'm gonna go over here and you can see it's add bone constraint. And the one I'm going to use is inverse kinematics. So um, kinematics is just kind of a fancy way of saying movement. So we've got forward movement, which is bone by bone. And then the reverse of that, which is chains, they're all linked together, which is this one here, inverse uh, kinematics. So I'm going to select that on this bone here. What's my target? Well, my target is the skeleton called leg. Um, and then what bone? Well, the target is my leg IK bone, so this one here. So now when I press G, I've got a chain, and it will walk for me, which is excellent. So I have some control over um, the, the character walking. So what we'll do now is I'm gonna go back into edit mode, and I'm gonna take this bone here, and I'm gonna go Shift D, and move it down. And I'm gonna have a look at its uh, rotation. Um, I see that here on the view, is it? Um, anyway, what we want to do is want to make it flat. So that's going to go or and use my eye. And I'm going to rename this bone here. I'm going to go to the bone uh, uh, properties. I'm going to rename this, and I'm going to call this uh, leg root dot L. OK, 
Okay, so this is going to be sort of a reference bone. Uh, and again, I want to remove it from the chain. Okay. So now I'm going to go back into pose mode. And nothing really has changed when I go G as I walk away. But I'm going to take this bone here and I'm going to put a constraint on it. I'm going to say uh, copy rotation uh, of the armature and the bone I'm looking for is leg root. Okay. Now let's just see if we have the right um, uh, axis selected. So I'm going to press this and go G. Hopefully you can see that the toe always points forward. So that will make my life easier when I'm um, placing my foot on the ground. Uh, I want to go to walk. Now if I want to, um, I have a, an issue if I want to like lift my toes independently of that. So this is not a, a, a one uh, control uh, suits all situations. But um, it is a, a handy way of, of making a quick um, sort of leg setup. So uh, so that's all we're going to do in this tutorial. So we're just having a quick look at uh, how you make a, a skeleton, uh, how you might add a constraint to the skeleton to control its movement, um, and how you get one bone to follow the rotation of another. So if I rotate this one, I can rotate my toe. Um, and then finally, uh, just to, to say one thing about this. So uh, this has a chain length of zero. Um, if I give it a chain length of one, um, it only has uh, one bone in its chain and uh, with two it goes all the way up to the top of the hip and if we had further bones up here in this chain we could determine how far back that kind of control will go like how many links in the chain can we use uh, okay so we'll, we'll leave it there for now and uh, hopefully that makes sense